Get that motherfucker and let me know we fucking with shit. Oh, you know, JM. Hunters Point, Big Block to be exact. You know, I'm going to always hunt it down for my whole side. Devil Rock, OCO, Kirkwood, Garlington, you know. Fam type shit. You know what I'm saying? Going to jail and shit like that. A lot of people don't really know what it's really like. So how did you keep, like, Man, your I, mind straight out in there? I've been in jail my whole life, bro. Since juvenile, bro. I first started going to jail when I was 14, nigga. The longest I did in juvenile, nigga, was a year, nigga, for... Three attempted murders, nigga. They tried to give me four years for each assault, for real, for real. Nigga, I beat that shit because I ain't do that shit. Feel me? So, nigga, but, nigga, that shit, I mean, only the strong survive. So, you said you was fighting three murders at 17? Three attempted murders. Three attempted murders. 15. 16. 2009. What was it like being at that age, looking at that that type Man, of charge? Nigga, I was stressed out, but, you know, I was in there with the homies. You feel me? So, but it, was, it was nothing because I didn't really take it that serious because. I'm thinking like, nigga, I'm gonna get out, like, feel me? I ain't got no evidence and shit on me, for real, for real. They didn't have nothing on me, for real, for real, nigga. I'm fake fucked up in their head, nigga. So they had me going through psychiatry, and mental health, and all the little shit, nigga. And I ended up being incompetent to stand trial, and they let me go. But nigga, I was facing four years, nigga. I just would've got out this year. Damn. This year, for sure. Like, nigga, 12 years ago, I, was, I would've got out this year. And you said you just got out not too I long ago? I just got out. I got out August, nigga. I did, nigga. Nigga, 32 months, and I did, nigga, three, three years before then, before that. Like, nigga, I was only out for, like, seven, eight months, nigga. I had did three years, nigga. We had did a little burglary and shit. We got caught for a rest of peace of my nigga take thumpers, feel me? We had got caught for the shit, man. Feel me? Went to jail, nigga. They gave me four years and a half. Bro, no, nigga, they gave them, like, two years and a half because I, cause I had the most shit going on. I'm always got the most shit going on. You seen on these streets and shit like some real shit like I done seen niggas die, bro, in my face. I done seen niggas get killed out here, bro. This shit real out here, bro. Like for real, nigga. I done seen a whole lot of shit being out here, bro. Young nigga growing up, older homies dying, cousins dying. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Done, nigga done seen it, been through it. Like, so I'm like numb to it, like for real, for real, like feel me. So with your last case, the little time you just did, you said 32 months. Prez had told me the little you was swerve co-defendant on whatever that situation was and I had did an interview with him a little while back addresses her and snitch allegations and at the time I didn't know you was his co-defendant and nothing. I'm not trying to start a pot or nothing like that, but if you get into your side of the story. Man, I'ma say it like this, right? You know, I got the case still going on from I don't bail my bail was a million, I spent eighty billion to get out, feel me? Man, a little nigga, you know you feel me, that's my little nigga, feel me? You just he did what he did. I ain't even, you know, I ain't really got no comment on it for real. Like, I ain't trying to do nothing to him or harm me. Just leave me alone. Leave you alone. You stay out my way. I stay out short. Type shit. Feel me? I really ain't too much got nothing to say about it. So, from all his and I asked me, he said it's like, look like paperwork and shit wasn't adding up and it was different shit and different people getting involved in and shit. He, he knows what's up, bro. I ain't, you know. So, it's like, feel me? I don't know this shit. All this shit be watered down, bruh. Like, feel me? You know, I'm the last of the dying breed on my side, so I gotta hold my shit down for my side, feel me? Other than that, mm -mm -mm, we ain't got no comment on that nigga for real. Let the people know it really come with this shit, cause everybody look at the TV, the jewels, and all this yeah. shit, think it's what's going nigga, on. You go die if you out here playing. That's what I'm gonna just tell you, bruh. These niggas be out here playing. These niggas be rapping this shit. They don't live this shit, bruh. I'm telling you, these niggas be capping for real, for real. Like, Nigga, if you go be in this shit, you gotta, your heart gotta be in this shit, bro. You can't just be in this shit for the fame and for these hoes. Nigga, you gotta really be in this shit, nigga. For real, nigga dying out here about this shit, bro. It'd be the coolest niggas that, that be getting tricked out their position on some clown shit, feel me? So, nigga, niggas just gotta be ready to, be ready, bro. Keep that heat on you, for real. Keep it high, like. Let them know what's going on with this rap shit. Yeah. I've been rapping since a young nigga. I just ain't never really took it serious for real, for real. I see Prez doing this shit. That nigga made like 150 over that off that do better song. I'm like, I'm in jail. I'm like, nigga, I'm finna start writing hella shit, nigga. Get it popping. So then when I bailed out, nigga, I had a little million dollar bill. They wasn't trying to fuck with me. So I gave them 80 cash to let me out, feel me? So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do the rap shit. I'm gonna do the rap shit. So I get in there, I freeze up a few times and then. Shit, after that, I just started getting a handcuff and just started popping my shit. So you started mm. rapping in jail? 
I been rapping since a young nigga, since my nigga K clapping bed was alive, for real, for real. I been going crazy, but I ain't never really just took it serious or trying to record hella much and shit. We just on some young niggas doing that type shit, like, man. At what point did you start taking this shit serious? Nigga, I was in jail, nigga, going through hella shit, nigga, finding demons, nigga, depression, nigga, all type of shit, nigga. So I just put my pain on the paper and shit, fuck it, nigga. I'm finna go on, I'm finna go crazy, for real, for real. Like, I really got hella shit, for real, for real, but. It ain't adding up when I hear the beats when I get in the studio, it don't sound right. So now I'm just coming off the head, like, just going crazy. I got hell of a little shit. I'm just going crazy, like, you me? And you said you was fighting depression. You know, in our, like, the black community and shit, we've been looking down upon that shit. It's not taking it serious. Can you talk about your experience with that shit and dealing with it? Damn, bro, that shit real, bro. I lost my dad, nigga. I lost hella niggas while I was in jail, nigga. They was talking about giving a nigga life, nigga. All type of shit, nigga. I was sick, nigga. I had to put on... Nigga, for, for cat just to, for a motherfucker to think I'm doing good, nigga, I really was going through it in there, nigga, but I kept my hood, I kept my head up, like, feel me? Because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be all right, you feel me? Type shit, but that shit ain't no joke, though, bro. Motherfuckers really be going through shit, like, for real, for real. I ain't going to lie, I was in there taking a the motherfucking rim rounds and shit in jail just to go to sleep, because I couldn't sleep, you feel me? Like, I'm thinking about all type of shit, you feel me? Calling the homies. Hearing niggas doing this, doing that, I'm like, fuck, I gotta get the fuck out of here, feel me? Type shit, like, I'm come on. So, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, so, and like, your position with being in the street shit, going through all this, seeing all this, what have you seen in the difference of generations from how it was when you was Man, growing this up? shit watered down, bro. Everybody fucking with everybody out here, bro. Ain't no morals in this shit, bro. Niggas fucking with rats. Niggas loyal to rats, niggas. Money over loyalty, niggas. It's all a type of fake ass shit going on out here, bruh. Swear to God, for real, like, nigga, all, I'm, all you young niggas that's coming up, bruh, take another route, my nigga, because this shit ain't the same, for real, for real. Niggas go to school, fuck with them hoes, get some money, bruh. All this shit, water down, leave this shit to a nigga like me, because I'm out shit all the way, for real, for real, like, you mm. It ain't nothing pretty about these streets and shit. Mm. What do you think it'll take for like our upcoming generations and shit to get past this shit so they don't gotta go through the shit you went through? Man, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, bro. That shit go be the same for real, cause you gotta trip. Motherfuckers be tripping off the people that ain't here no more. It's motherfuckers that's dead. This shit up in blood. Like, you feel me? Like, it's personal shit going on, but all the beef shit, that shit watered down for real, for real. But it's still shit going on out here, but. Niggas ain't really beefing out here, bro. These niggas capping, bro. I just, the nigga, the, the generation that's coming up, all I do is tell a nigga, nigga, get some money, bro. Go to school, graduate, bro. I used to play football, bro, so I know, nigga. Before who, nigga, before who I was, who I, you know what I'm saying now? I, feel me? I was a pretty boy fucking all the bitches, all the shit type shit, feel me? I see you yeah. got runs changed. Yeah. First off, before we get into all the other juice, how the fuck do these get wrench changed? Do y'all buy them or do they send them to y'all like, like this? I'm gonna put it like this. You gotta be a real nigga, bro. You gotta be locked in. You gotta really be a real nigga to lock yourself in with something like this. Everybody can't get this. Niggas don't really deserve shit like this, feel me? You gotta be a real nigga, like, feel me? So shout out to all my niggas that's runs and jokes up because they real niggas, you feel me? Period. See that shit on your wrist? How much that hit you for? Oh, this 27. This car, this car is me 27 right here. This 6600. This 10 G's right here. It's 14 right here. Some light. I'm finna get this away though to somebody. I'm finna go crazy. I'm gonna keep my foot on the bitch neck. Feel me? Hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. You know, fuck with this little weed shit and shit. Do me. JM, that's all I do. Fuck all the bullshit and this, this, and that. Let them know about the new music you got coming and shit. Oh, yeah, I got some shit coming. I got some new shit coming, bud. I got some new shit coming. I've been in the studio and shit. I've been doing hella little verses and shit, but I just, you know, I'm finna focus on me. So I'm finna give him everything I got. Like, everything I got. Focus on me. I'm finna give him everything I got. I'm finna go up. That's a bet. <laughs> so what's it called? I love you been fucking with Prezi and shit. Man, me and Prez go way back, bro. We like jits for real, for real. Like, young niggas like this, for real. It's my nigga, bro. You know, I'm the last of the darn breed, so, you know, he go fuck with me regardless, like, you feel me? He might not too much deal with everybody, you know? But he got love for niggas, there's just too much shit going on out here, you feel me? Fuck it, give us a story, some funny, goofy shit y'all done got into growing up, or some real shit. Man, I got on that nigga, blood, he try to fake, like, feel me? We got on that nigga, we young niggas and shit, 
Yeah. We stretch out, niggas. That's how I learned how to fight, being on the block, bruh. Stretching <laughs> shit, bruh. So me and Prez go one-on-one -on -one, one day. I'm thinking, feel me? You know, he tall, I'm small. Feel me? He, we going, ah, ah, he flapping me up. He got me. <laughs> but I got mine in, though. Feel me? All type shit. <laughs> So I heard about nigga, let them know what a harbor stretch out is. Man, niggas get played out, bro. My nigga can't clap, nigga. Real demon, bro. He really taught a nigga how to fight. And nigga, you go, you you going home, ribs, bro, bruises. If you come on the block breezy high him right now, you getting stripped out of all that. Hey, all nigga, the shit. If you can't take it, you ain't coming back. I yeah. swear so to I God. Had to it's adapt, a bunch but... of niggas who would have been from Harvard if they could take the stretch out. I swear hey, to God, they tell you. I had to adapt, nigga, yeah, because I used to stay coming up there fresh to I seen what's going on. I'm like, yeah, you feel me? You know, I took my little stretch house. Everybody got to take some before they come somebody. I wasn't never just JM all the time. You feel me? I was a square two at one point. I'm like, feel me? I'm all like out here now, though. Sure. Hey, this nigga the gangster. This nigga the gangster. These niggas wanna be. I swear to God. Yeah, these niggas capped. I ain't gonna lie. These niggas capped out. Before you close this motherfucker out, any last words? Yep. Uh, rest in peace for my dad, bro. I'm still hurting over my nigga, man. You no, know, Ronnie knew real living legend, man. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this shit lit, bro. Till I can't no more. This with this shit till my casket drop, bro. Keep holding this shit down for the whole point. My Filmo niggas, Page Street, Chopper City, niggas, the Visit Daryl, feel me? 